It's beginning to look a lot like Vlogmas. Love that. Morning, friends. Are you ready to eat? We are feeling fantabulous. Oh my god, you guys. We got some sleep. That we were literally like, Oh god. Was it the tea or the hot chocolate? We needed sleep. Big we time. needed sleep. Well, one, and we needed to get in bed early. And it was hard to get him kind of sleep last night, but once yeah. he got to sleep, he was out wow, like a light. Wow, he just woke up at 7.30. Good morning. You slept in. Morning, guys. Okay. Um, Smokey's. I've propped his bottle up on his thing right now because I'm. But I'm just sitting here watching him, so I can monitor. But I can drink my coffee at the same time. Um. I don't want to hear. I don't want to hear any comments about it. Okay, just putting that out there. You're good. Keep it in. I don't need to know. Hi, good morning. Good morning. Um, I, oh, careful. No coffee for you. Are you going to lay down? Lay down. Lay down. Okay. Um, I put this up on Instagram, but um, our coffee machine. So we've had the Breville espresso maker for, we were going on like our seventh or eighth, maybe even eighth year. I think it might be seven, but um, just within the past year, the coffee has started to taste like a little funny it's like i've been over to other friend's house with breville's and the coffee tastes good and it tasted good the full first like six years we had it but in the past year it has this like sort of burnt or like just like shitty flavor honestly and i don't know what it's coming from i've descaled it like three times ordered the liquid um i've done the cleaning cycle i have literally gone in and like rinsed it with like soap and water like everything i just can't figure out what's going on and i'm wondering if anyone has else has had the same issue i'm wondering if it's just because it's like a not professional grade machine is it just like do they get like yucky after a while do i just need to like replace it um because it's a bummer i buy like nice gourmet beans i've done filtered water like all those baristas have dm'd me like telling me all the things i'm like i've tried literally all of that and i wonder if it's because like you can't regulate the temperature of the water careful um if that's why it tastes funny but it's only happened within the past year so i'm like why was it good for like six years and then now it's just like is it getting like sour or just is it sort of like toast you know what i mean um so if anyone's had that problem let me know in the comments um specifically with this machine i know there's like i've done everything filtered water tried different beans changed the grind amount um descaled it cleaned it everything and it's still happening so i don't know Anyways, I still drink it because mom life. It's not that bad, but it's just like not as good as it could be. Um, I still make my coffees because I need that caffeine baby right away. Anyways, we slept so good. Um, it's funny because like, you know, <clears throat> this whole first year of adjusting to parenthood, it's just a lot of rebalancing right because you're trying to manage like your work your relationships your social life your marriage with the baby and it's like so many things at once you guys know if you've had kids like that adjustment period is really intense and it's just like it's like a big life change so um and then on top of that you're like really tired all the time because you are just sort of like i kind of are you doing circles around me kind of describe it as like life on a hamster wheel and i am not like i am literally so grateful for my life i i love everything about it and i would do anything for him i would not sleep a thousand nights to make sure that he is okay like i don't even care like i'm not like complaining about it but sometimes um only sharing just so that other people like maybe going through it don't think they're crazy um because i love talking to other moms i'm like tell me i'm not insane and then you always feel like more affirmed after yeah and hunter and i were like what if we were just sometimes when we're like oh my god like everything's falling apart um 
or you know it just feel like you know i'm not doing my best at this that and the other thing and always just feeling like you're falling behind is sort of like the vibe and woke up this morning and because we slept like nine hours last night because we were like we are tired and we need to get in bed like at literally 8 8 p.m like after he goes to sleep because we just like can't we need sleep hunter yesterday even like he is the one out of the two of us that does not need a lot of sleep and he is like i'm exhausted like i need sleep and i was like okay and i think my hormones just like mom hormones my adrenaline just kicks in and i'm like i'm fine but i'm not fine um so we were like this morning we we're like what if we're just really and everything's fine. We might just be really tired. Hi. I was just telling them. Yeah, I was just telling them about our conversation this morning. Ow, book your tail. It's hitting me. But being just tired? Wait, are we waiting at 45? I thought we were. Or not. Huh? I guess. I, uh. I feel great, though. I mean, I could use like 10 of those nights in a row. No, we need that. We yeah. need to. We need to get on a truly. A routine of sleeping. We have to go to bed at eight or nine. Look, my idea is like, if you go to bed at nine, you could get up as early as five. Like that's like plenty of sleep. Yeah. That's a true nine to fiver. I think this is what people said when they're tired from like parenthood, but it's a different kind of tired. It's, it's tired. not like what I expected. It's it's not like I'm like I'm just so sleepy. It's I like, know. No, like my body needs to like. You're like exhausted. <laughs> But you somehow keep doing it. You keep going. Are you smiling about that? Yeah, you are. So we're just still getting our bearings. Um, I've been getting like more achy, and I like I feel like I need to yeah. rest for my body to like restore. Recover. Booker, can Booker. you let him eat his breakfast? How about that? Catch me outside. Has he gone out yet? Yeah. Thanks for handling this morning. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to. I want to get on a bed routine about like waking up and like showering and just like waking up a bit. I know. Are you petting Booker? So sweet your of you. Good morning, Booker. Did you sleep good? I do we sleep love you too. Mm -hmm. My little love. Hold my hand. Fill my cup. Smile at my face. Baby, like the whole world up. Thank you. I was gonna get hot, but I was like, no, the, the um, it's good ice. ice was good. You're my baby, I'm your mama. You're cute. Thanks. <laughs> I want to smother you. Oh shit. I know. It's so cute. Okay, guys, we are home. Um, we ran to Whole Foods after the gym and got a couple things that we couldn't find the other day. So I got some herbs. I need to get Smokey some more baby lotion. I did this Welda brand. I or Welita, sorry. It's like a natural Whole Foods brand. Um, and I've really love their skincare even for me so we're gonna try that these mini bananas that i have found for smokish which get your mini bananas and then some turkey and cheese just for like i'm making a little sandwich today i also got some cookies okay if you've tried sweet lauren's oh my god their cookies are so good they have a chocolate mint flavor and I just like every night, I don't know if it's like my hot chocolate kick, but I'm craving like chocolate fudgy things, just like desserts and sugar. I feel like around this time of year, I get really into like desserts and I'm not a dessert girl. So I'm gonna try those, they look really good. And then I saw these at the checkout, soft and chewy coconut cookies, vanilla bean. I thought they sounded so good with um, coffee. Um, Hunter got some kefir, which he won't drink. Home, I, uh, you can count, count on it that I he won't drink that. And then we got 
got a bunch of beef. Hunter got a bunch of grass-fed ribeye steaks. And I got my bone-in short ribs for my stew that I think I'm gonna make tomorrow. I'm going out for a girls night tonight, like holiday girls night dinner with my girlfriends. So I am not cooking tonight, but we have plenty of leftovers. And um, oh, Hunter also got some little beef tenderloins. We've been on a steak cook and he's really into his steak. So that's our Whole Foods haul. Um, a couple little bang bangs and I would like to make some breakfast and yesterday I thought out some guys I'm in my planning mode I thought out some sausage this is from Costco it's the paleo basil sausage or whatever basil chicken sausage I'm gonna do that with a little leftover salad from the other night with the sweet potatoes and I'm gonna do sausage with it and maybe like a little egg for breakfast. Put a little feta and avocado on top. It's gonna be absolutely gorgeous. Let's get cooking. All right, I'm making some steak for breakfast. I'm trying to stick to grass-fed if possible. And what you wanna find is grass-fed, 100% grass-fed, but stores are allowed to say 100% grass-fed even if they're green finished. You wanna find grass-fed, grass-finished if you can. Um, so a lot of packaging is misleading, as y'all know. Try to find beef that is grass-fed, grass-finished. And even if it says 100% grass-fed, that doesn't mean it's grass-finished. So just make sure you check the label. Anyways. All right, y'all, the steak is so freaking good. I decided not to make eggs with it this morning. I'm just gonna eat straight steak. Um, so flavorful. It's so easy, just salt and pepper. Cooked it in tallow beef tallow or you could use ghee and um, it's like three minutes on each side if it's a bigger steak like a ribeye or something you can put it in the oven at 425 for a little bit of time to cook it all the way through with this one being a fillet style steak like a little flatter I flattened it out and just did three minutes on each side got it really crispy on a hot iron skillet and added butter at the end for flavor but it's so good. Look at that. So freaking delicious. And I was gonna make one for now and the other for later, but I think I'm just gonna eat both now because I'm hungry. So fire. I am just gotten ready for my hair appointment. Getting my extensions moved up today because you would be appalled if you saw them. They are so grown out. I can barely put my hair up. Everyone always looks cute there and it's fun. So, I'm wearing these redone jeans that were actually like some of my favorite jeans before I was pregnant and they finally fit again, so that's very exciting because I just love them. Very cute and this little rib top is Lululemon. Um, my coat is House of CB. I feel like it looks sort of like a designer coat. It's very well made, really like the shape. And my heels are Zara, they're patent, and it's raining out, so I'm like, I think that'll work. So the rain will just rub right off of them. Super cute, love the fit. Thanks, babe. I actually really For real? Yeah. Oh, that's so nice. I like the jeans with the heels, the whole combo. Oh, that's really sweet. Yeah. Um, my earrings are Nixie Studios. Shout out Maddie Bernard, love her. And I think that's it. Classes are Amazon. My hair is super yeah, I, found, I found that um, lint roller. I know you always ask for one. Oh, yeah. It's in that drawer, so we should take it upstairs. Perfect. Here's a little full body shot. I kind of, I'm not really a kitten heel gal. I think it's because I'm short, but they'll do. Um, I got them because they're a little bit more practical, so I could wear them for, like, daytime. But I just love a high, high heel, like, four inch. Why not? And I just feel like it looks cooler. I don't know what it is. So I'm gonna try them out, but they're not giving me like that boost of confidence or energy that I need, but the point toe is still cute and they're very practical. So we'll take it. Okay, I'm here. 
hair day. Okay, so I have some ideas. Oh wait, my second one. You're like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, my extensions are hanging on my thread. Oh, I can imagine. I can even put that, put my hair out because it like, that, it like, creaks, yeah. you know? Yeah. So it's like, we're there. Oh, how overdue are we're we? We're there. I mean, it's not like that bad, but it's, I can't put it out. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> Because I feel like this this, this lighter, is old hair. Yeah, it'll grow back. This is old energy. We yeah. need to get rid of it. Yeah. Yep. And it'll just be nice and healthy. And I know. if there was ever any like breakage, it's not gonna break anymore. It's gonna be super healthy, so then it can just grow. Totally. Awesome. Awesome. Totally. Um, right. I think you're gonna really like it. obsessed i love it i feel like just a new surge of energy like i feel like it's an entire new personality um and i literally just was not expecting to do that at all but i love the spontaneity it was very exciting and exhilarating um super cute i'm excited to style it and like do different things i've like secretly kind of always wanted to cut my hair but when i've done it in the past i didn't love it i don't know why i think it was just a different era and this is the right era um it was just time and i'm totally vibing with it so i'm very happy i love it it's super fun and fresh um okay so i am about to get smoky handed off from the nanny and i haven't eaten lunch so i'm just gonna heat up some of our enchilada soup from yesterday i love nothing more than having like good homemade leftovers it just changes everything because then you have good food around there's truly nothing better. Hunter is out editing Vlogmas um, at Soho House. Went there to just like get out of the house today because we had the house cleaners coming. It's nice to have a little change of environment to do that. Hunter's coming in. Oh my god. Yes. <laughs> Okay. 
A.W. <laughs> this is cute! Hunter's addicted to steak, you guys. It's not that I'm addicted to steak. I'm trying it out. I know. Try it on for a while. The tenderloins were the money. Well, did you show them the difference between the tenderloins and the ribeyes? Mm -mm. Uh, we got two different kinds at Whole Foods, but these are the vibe. Grass-fed. Grass-fed tenderloins. Tenderloin. They are delicious. They're like fillets, basically. But skin looks caramel. I'm trying to go down more of like the carnivore diet route, um, as close as I can, with you know still eating my wife's meals and not causing her any issues when she makes like soup and stuff like that. I mean, I don't care. I'm not gonna not eat. Your yeah. Meals. Okay. Um. But when I make food or, you know, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, when I'm making it, I'm going to make steak. And really not much more than that, besides some eggs. And it's so freaking it's good. It's delicious. It's like, so, would... y'all, it's like, I'm, I'm perfecting it. You cook that one better. Yeah. Someone crazy is over here. We're just trying to get Blogmas up, so I know he's always in this thingy, but whenever you guys see us, we're always like... Just yeah. trying to cook a meal or something, and it's a good place to That's another up. thing. A lot of y'all have been leaving comments about, like, us not giving Booker attention. Booker comes over to us because we're talking to y'all. Like when we're not filming, we're hanging with Booker like on the couch or doing whatever. But yeah. when we're filming, we're talking, he thinks we're talking to him. So it was like all up in our junk and we're like, hey, get out, we're trying to film a clip. So y'all are only seeing like 30 minutes to an hour of our day each day. Um, so if smoke's in his thing while we're doing some work or eating, that is what it is. If Booker's like wanting attention and we're like focused on the camera, it is what it is at that point in time. Yeah, you're only seeing like a little clip. Guys. Yeah, and you're seeing him when he's like begging for attention because he thinks we're talking to him. Yeah. Like, or if right now I made steak and he's over here like wanting steak. So, anyways, on the steak train, gonna keep eating it all vlogmas. We'll see how long I last. But, anyways. Okay. Time to get ready for my girls' dinner. So, um, my girlfriends and I are just doing like a little holiday. Um, night out i guess you could say um just to all get together before everyone goes home for christmas so i don't know what i'm gonna wear i need to leave in exactly 30 minutes what should i do what should i do let's see i feel like now with the short hair i can kind of wear like do like a little eye makeup vibe and it works because not that I couldn't do it before but um I feel like with short hair you can like kind of go a little more vibey with your makeup as it's just like almost feels like a little edgier or something I don't know how to describe it but like a smoky eye not that I didn't do that before but sometimes with like long hair and then a lot of makeup sometimes it can look like overdone sometimes that could be the look you're going for but do you know what I mean? I don't know if that's not me. Where's my powder? Darling. Darling. Where did it go? Here. My house painters came today and I think they put some of my stuff in. Shoot. Oh, here it is. Yeah, I found it. Okay. I knew they put it in here. Those house cleaners be wild, man. Putting things in wild places. As you guys saw earlier, obviously her loves the hair, which I'm very happy about. Um, it needs to be, I don't want it to come off like cutesy mom vibe. That's not the, the goal. It's like, you know, who's that model? Um, Hulsa, or, oh, frick, what's her name? Hoselka, that's her Instagram, you guys know what I'm talking about. That's the goal. That's what we're going for. Not, not, not anything else. Um, so, we want it to be chic and cute. It's okay, I'm rambling. So, I'm touching up my makeup, and then I don't know what I'm going to wear tonight, but I'm thinking, like, we're going extra, everyone's dressing up, so we're doing, like, sequins and fur and, like, holiday, bring the holiday vibes. So I'm thinking I have a pair of cool sequin pants that I think will be cute. Um, I kind of have a vision for that. Or I have a fur coat that I kind of wanting to wear. So I could do that. So we will see what comes up. Thinking of wearing these like silvery white sequin pants. Um, 
It could be cute just to do like an all white moment, like winter white. That could be cute. Or, um, or I have this sweater that I just got. It's also white. It's from Windsor. It's really cute. I could still wear my bra with it. That looks pretty good, actually. Kind of like that together. Or I could do like high cut shirt. Mm. But, yeah, in a second, hold on. Oh, this one moment. Do I go, oh, this could be cute. Or I could do black top. Sort of like this. This is cute. Um, so I like that. Okay, guys. I think I'm going with these pop of red sparkly shorts. These are from Windsor. They're so cute, and I think this is a good night to wear them. So, thinking this jacket, maybe this other beachy one with fur. I kind of like the biker jacket. The fur one might. Make it a little bit more dressy though. Let's see. Is that better? It's a little more formal. Okay, well, let's ask her. And I really gotta go. I'm so late. Actually, I think a blazer could be cute. It's gonna be so late for dinner. Blazer's the vibe. Okay. That did it. Because now it makes it a little more balanced. So cute with the blazer. <gasps> Love. Okay. Now we need you. There's a little monkey. Um, okay, back. Are you looking at mommy? You are a monkey. Look at you. <laughs> You're so silly. You're a little monkey. <laughs> <laughs> okay, do you think fur bag is cute with this? Oh, yeah. Why not? Cute or black? Mmm, I'm, I'm liking it. Do you like the fur? I'm liking I'm liking you like the fur? I like the whole, man, I like your vibes today. I like the whole outfit you I had know, on right? to the hair salon. Oh, I'm gonna I shut this camera bags. off real quick. I don't want the right bags, babe. I don't have the right bags. Should I do a gold earring to make it work, maybe? What are you doing, silly? Hi, Sandy! Is it smoky up here, too? I don't know. I feel like it kind of traveled. Didn't well, it? smoke rises. Might take an Uber because... <sighs> the car is low on gas. I'm gonna drop you off. Do you want to? Uh, where is it? Oh, this is cute. Um, I it's just I can minutes. drop you off and fill up the gas tank. It's 12 minutes down. But will you throw a onesie on him real quick? All right. Okay. And we bought these like, oh, there's Julia. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hi guys! Hi! Say hi to Vlogmas. <laughs> Very fitting. Okay guys, I came home early from my girls' dinner because I have been getting hives, as I've talked about a little bit, all over my body, postpartum. And it flares up in certain areas, and tonight it flared up in my lips. I don't think I'm a hive, I think you... It's a hive, babe. I know, I'm saying, I think you had an introduction to something you ate or drank, because you were fine until you got to the restaurant and you had one drink and then you had an appetizer, right? Yeah. And then they started swelling up. My lips started swelling and I could feel it. And then I was like, they look bad. And my friends were like, no, they're fine. Like they look kind of puffy, but like not a big deal. And I, they just kept growing and growing and growing. Now this happened to me once when I was younger and I had to go to the hospital because we to get like a cortisol shot, shot, but it was my full lip top and bottom. That's pretty much your full lip top and bottom right yeah, now. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. Um, <laughs> it kind of looks like the peace sign, like the little circle. I know. You know and about? I was like, I have to go, you guys. Like, I literally have to leave. I cannot sit here and, like, take have a serious conversation like this. I, was, I could feel it like, getting worse. So I just got home and took some Benadryl. Oh, I feel so bad for you. I'm sorry. I just don't You're know what it is. You're having a girl's night. I know. I'm sorry. Ugh. But of course. I'm pretty um, sure it's an allergy. And I, I think you de developed an allergy when you had smoke because you started getting your hives after smoke. Yeah. 
like postpartum and then I don't you... know I guess I don't know if I've really talked about it but yeah I've been getting hives since I had the baby I thought they were maybe cortisol like high cortisol like stress basically I get be. them in the mornings at night anytime I'll get them behind my neck I'll get my fingers will get puffy um my feet will get puffy anything and you, then tonight happened up, to my lips you wake up with them though right yeah but they'll flare up during the day too it can mm -hmm. be any time of day I feel like you mostly get them though when you wake up like that's usually the... when they're most active which is weird because I wouldn't have had anything in the night. I know. Which I, makes me I think they're not allergy driven. I don't think this is a hive related. I think this is something separate. I think this is like you had something at the restaurant. I think you took a sip of your drink and maybe whatever. It was a what? A whiskey sour? <laughs> a whiskey sour. But, but you don't know what else they put in it. What if it's like some certain like sugar that they make in house? Mm -hmm. Like some syrup. And it has some ingredient that you're allergic to. And then we had rock shrimp. Okay, so maybe it was like... Aaron was it battered shrimp? Rock shrimp? Yeah, like tempura shrimp. Temp okay, so maybe it was like the oil they used or something they put in it. Like what if it's like a spice? Mm. Don't do not do that. Just like let them be. You're, I think you're messing with them too much. Well, they're inflamed and they're swollen and it's on my mouth. I know, but it wasn't on your bottom one at all. And I think you started messing with it and now the bottom one's picked up on the allergy. Mm. Like your whatever touched your top lip, you're now, you've passed it to your bottom lip now. No, it was already, it started on this side only and it was top and bottom from the beginning. And then since on the dark home, it spread. I don't know. It's crazy, right? But Hunter's been taking lots of pictures of me making fun of me. No, I wasn't making fun of you. I was saying yeah, we should Yeah, but and you this. and like fun. Because I would say smile and you start giggling. <laughs> yeah, because, I mean, you know, It's kind say of funny. That. I mean, right. I'm saying smile. I know. I want you to, I want you to see like, you were just like this the whole time. I'm like, because so, that's what feels good. I know, but when I'm taking a picture from the side and stuff, it just looks like you have like insane lips. Like bad lip filler or something? Yeah, but from the front, you can actually see, like, when you smile, smile with your teeth, you can see what I mean? What? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. You want to laugh? I'm just messing with you. No, I know. It's fine. Do you think the hives are allergies? I can't drink this. <laughs> it's hard. <laughs> <laughs> I hope it like I hope the Benadryl helps. No. <laughs> That's so weird. <laughs> like, I, I'm trying to think back, like, did you do anything differently today? That happened to my mom once. It did. But we were in Florida, and she got, like, a sun blister. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, her whole, all of her lips started to do that. Well, that makes sense. But it, like, started with a sun blister, and then, whew. Uh -oh. What if mine starts swelling up now? It's tested. up. Dang, those are, like, Ow. those are, like, freaking pillows. Yeah, you because know, they're like falling in. It's just weird. You would I think, feel bad for you. You would think. I know I'm good so much. We're going to ice Julia's lip. She took her Benadryl. And we're going to go ahead and get in bed. It's 9 o'clock. Um, and just call it a night. Maybe put on a movie or something. It's Friday night. So we'll put on a show or something or we'll just fall asleep. But we're going to close out this video. We'll see y'all tomorrow. We love you guys. Night. Adios. Now close your eyes we'll spin around Say part time You could find But ain't the way that you want But it's still alright